G'day all, Dan here from the Perfect Bus Life. Had a few requests for a tour of the home, so uh, come on and let's check out this 1983 bus. Rightio, up front in the cockpit. Um, it's pretty much as it was back in 1983. Uh, there's no creature comforts like air conditioning or safety features like power bags or ABS. Um, five speed stick. Gauges are pretty much as they were, except for now we've got uh, digital battery meters so we can get accurate readings on both banks. Uh, digital water temperature for those hot days. Uh, we can keep track of what's the running temperature. Um, nice fold out touch screen as well, which is hooked up to a rear view camera because uh, it's not the easiest thing to back, and you know, so she's all good. Got a fire extinguisher and some other bits and pieces down there. Um, just as little safety aspects because um, when it's hot it's hot like I said there's no air conditioning so traveling does get a bit uh, unenjoyable at times I guess you could say but that's what it is um, if you guys want to know further information about the engine or any running aspects of the vehicle um, drop some comments I'll answer them might even do some little videos but um, other than that, she's bog standard up front. Nothing to uh, go on about. Rightio, up front on the old girl, we've got a rhubarb. Uh, that's pretty self-explanatory as to why we've got one. Uh, I've also got a zombie light, not only for the zombies, but to spot the ruse from a distance. Uh, haven't had to use it yet, but she's there just in case. Come around here, check out what we're running on feet. Uh, brought the bus, first thing we did, BFGs, why? They're trusted, they're safe, um, and on the terrains that we're rolling, they were the best option, um, and they just handle better than anything else out there. Might be a bit hard to see, up on the roof above the cabin, running 500 watts uh, solar panel on a 12 volt system. Uh, that's separated out into two different solar controllers. Uh, one of them goes directly to the starting battery and the other one jumps over into our house batteries. Uh, we're running AGM batteries, uh, 320 amp hours, so we have 360 amp hours of storage. Um, and that runs everything we've got. Fridge, freezer, water pumps, extraction fans, um, all our power outlets, and we're also running 240 volt. Um, for things like the cameras and the, uh, the laptops. Um, as well as the solar power, we've got a hook up on the side, so when we get to campsite, chuck in the power cable and uh, everything continues to run as normal. Um, we've got both uh, storage here, one this side, one the other side. They're holding our gas bottles for our, our cooking and our showering. Um, in the event one stops, swap them over, keep going. Um, we've run enough gas for about four weeks, which is more than enough to get city to city. Um, and in this side panel here, under here, we're running our water tanks. Um, we have 50 litres dedicated to drinking, uh, 30 litres dedicated to showering, and we have another 40 up top, just in case it gets to those kind of situations. Right, and up back we've got uh, storage, minimal storage in the shower. Um, we're lucky enough to have an AquaCube shower unit which uh, pumps the water from our holding tank, heats it through gas up to about 50 degrees and then uh, squirts it out the shower head. Um, on a day like today, we just clip it up on the top while the awning um, and have uh, wild showers, I guess you could call them. Um, but that's not always always ideal, as uh, sometimes there's too many people around or it's just too bloody cold. So we've got an ensuite tent, chuck her up and uh, she's good as gold. Also got a decent sized awning. Um, needless to say, the Australian sun's quite harsh, so a day like today, it's pretty ideal. Wind her out, chuck it up, and uh, it gives us ample shade to get through the day and not get burned, I guess. Yeah, so uh, we'll carry on inside, eh? Get check it out. All right.
right guys so here in the inside on the left we've got the living room part of the bus the table here uh, do go up and down we just like to keep it down so we can pass from the driving part of the bus to the living part of the bus more easily especially while we're driving under this couch here on the left is all the solar batteries and stuff like that but Dan will talk about that a bit more later on under this one here on the right we've got Nala's litter box and a cooling mat here underneath the table sorry don't mind the dirty linen bag here uh, but here the table we've got um, Nala a scratcher she loves using it but she doesn't want to be recording doing so so you just have to take my word for it here well the, the kitchen uh, pretty self-explanatory but there's actually plenty of storage it's uh, impressive how much we can put in such a small space anyways the sink gets covered up with the chopping board which is really practical so here right in front of the oven we've actually got the fridge anyways right here we've got the toilet camping toilet and the doors actually open up like this and like this so it creates a little room a special bathroom room pretty cool eh? a little bit of privacy anyways let's uh, move on to the bed so the bed we actually have a koala mattress which are awesome we've got koala pillows as well now i love them uh she always sit on them um nothing fancy about the bed beside that uh, we do have a TV which was actually already there. We wouldn't have put it otherwise, but hey, it's there. And uh, we've uh, put a little fan here for Nala. And there you go.